Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hi and welcome everyone. This is a different Pick a Card Reading today. This is What Will Happen Between Us. So this might be your twin flame, your soulmate, your husband, your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, or it might be someone that you haven't even had a relationship with yet. Um, and you want to see what's, what's going on. So um, pick a card, pick a, a pile. We have number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, I was going to do a yes and no, but yeah, this one is what's going on? Like, what's going on between us? What does this person think about me? Is this my twin flame? Is this my soulmate? Are we meant to be together? Um, so it's just a brief little reading. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. Um, so yeah, just pick a pile. Just pause the video and think about the person in question. Um, you might actually be asking about two or three different people, like what's going on between us, like is there something there? Um, I do know I've done readings for people, private readings for people sometimes, and they will ask me about uh, three different people that they've had connections with and they're wondering which one to choose, you know, like which is, which is the best path. So this is all about like what's going on, is there something going on between us? Um, you might be asking is there some, something going on between them? So you might be asking about your husband or your wife and some particular person that they hang around all the time and you want to see what's going on there. Um, so don't take it too serious. This is a bit of fun and uh, let's have a look at what we've got around relationships. So we're going to start with pile number one. Um, so I'll just pause the video and I'll get started. Okay, so starting with pile number one. What is going on between us? Are we soulmates? Are we twin flames? Are we meant to be together? So let's have a look. Hopefully we get some nice answers. I'm not going to read the tarots upside down. I have not separated any of the cards out. I was going to separate everything that was to do with relationships and then I thought no we'll just see what comes out because there might be someone you're asking about and there's absolutely nothing going on. Um, so let's have a look. What have we got? Well, there's definitely something going on here. We have the King of Swords. This can be an air sign. And then we have our hopes, our dreams, our fears. Um, but it's mostly about hopes and dreams and wanting to be together. Um, now, this, I would have to say, is this particular person here, this King of Swords. Um, that's the King of Spades as well. That could be someone that's in military, police, um, someone in uniform, someone that works in law, someone that works in government. Um, could even be an ambulance driver, a security guard. Uh, whoever he is, he thinks that you are his star. So <laughs> this is the be all and end all. I'm, I'm feeling like this is someone that feels this is twin flame soulmate. So let's have a look at what else we've got here. Okay, we've got sharp and unexpected. This could be happening really quickly. We've got another um, air sign or dark haired male. Yeah, this is meant to be. This is a couple that really, really float very well. I'm getting a feeling that this might be something to do with work. Uh, simply because we don't have hearts on the table, we have diamonds. So I think this is a cosmic connection. Um, this could be a same sex relationship as well, where we've got younger and older. Doesn't have to be. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a younger, older sort of connection on pile number one. There's definitely a balance here. There is something that balances each other out. Uh, whether it's a big love bubble, I'm not really seeing that right now. I'm, I am seeing this as a definite soulmate connection. This is someone that you possibly knew in a past life. This is someone that could be a twin flame. It could be something that it, it just seems to fit right. I'm not feeling anything negative about any of this. Um, I do see that you may have been, if you believe in past lives and things like that, I do see like you might have been uh, brothers or father and son or something like that in a past life and you've reconnected somehow in this life. But I also feel like this might be a working 
kind of connection. It's, it's, it's almost like you go to work, you get a new job and you meet this person and straight away you just feel this click like you're meant to be around this person. So let's just get a one of these cards over here. We have, yeah, the crossing the bridges. So that's like getting to the other side. It's, it's trying to join together with someone. This is a definite nice connection. Now, what I always tell people when I see diamonds instead of hearts in a relationship, um, it doesn't mean like there's no love there. These kind of relationships can be till death do us part. It can be just someone that's on this same journey for a long, 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 long time. Um, they just seem to balance each other out. Um, but one or the other feels like they're the shining star. It's just sort of all their hopes and dreams and wishes have come true. I'm not feeling anything negative about pile number one. Um, whether it's a big love connection, I'm not really feeling that on pile number one. But there's a definite um, firm commitment type thing. Um, you or them might be very uh, rushed with everything, sort of like you meet each other, uh, you have a bit of talking going on, and next thing you know, they're saying, let's get married. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those sorts of things where it just clicks. Um, as I said, I'm not seeing the big romantic love bubble, but I'm definitely seeing a soulmate or possibly twin flame kind of connection or a past life connection here. So if you chose pile number one, it looks pretty sweet. So nice uh, nice going there for pile number one. Okie dokie. So here we go with pile number two. What is going on between us or them? Uh, what's the connection? Is it soulmates? Is it love? Is it working relationship? What is it? Let's have a look what we've got here. And remember, this is a general reading. It's not going to fit everybody. Oh, we've got the love woman on the table. There's definite love in this connection. Oh, wishes coming true. Um, I'm feeling a pregnancy thing around here. So what's going on? There's definitely some sort of sexual union going on here um, there for a baby to be present. Um, that's what I'm meaning by that because the nine of cups to me is the nine months and then we've got the mothering figure. So I feel this is a, a deep love connection and trust in these cards here. We also have a lot of hard work a lot of stress and gossip. Okay, we have two different women. Okay, again, this could be a same-sex relationship that we have here, um, or it may be that you or somebody else is involved with two separate people. We have some one person that makes you feel love and contentment. This person would be uh, fair-haired, blue-eyed, green-eyed, um, they would be the homebody, they would be everybody's friend, all helping out. And then we have somebody else that she could be the divorcee, uh, she could be single, she could be a widow, um, she could have black hair, she could have dark brown hair, uh, she could work at night. Um, she's, she kind of rushes in and wants everything happening yesterday. Now, if you do have a connection between two separate people, I feel that with one of them, you have love, trust, devotion, family, all of this sort of thing. Down here, I just see a lot of stress and worry and something going nowhere fast. Um, these two women are very opposite. This one would be, if, let's say if she's really, really beautiful and attractive and everybody looks at her, this one, she might be nice and everything, but it's sort of like she's opposite. This one would be fair. This one would be dark. This one would be loving and caring and want to take her time with things. This one would want to rush the situation and get everything happening, a flash in the pan. So what's going on between us, between them? Um, a loving counterpart here and long-term possible commitments here, possible pregnancy and stuff like that going on, which can represent a new beginning. It doesn't have to be a baby. It could simply be a new beginning going on. Um, there's a lot of emotion attached here. There's a lot of negative sort of chitty chatter. Now this could simply be a chitty chatter conversation type thing as well. So I feel there's two people in pile number two. Um, there's two people involved here. We've got long-term and love and we've got Chitty chatter, um, I just feel like this is not a good thing, this one here, but this is. So you might have been asking about one particular person, but you've already got somebody else in your life. So let's have a look at what we get over here. Yeah, you're a bit lost in the maze here. 
This is being lost in the maze. So either you or them feels lost. They're not sure which way to go with things, but they want the love and affection and stability, but they've still got this here as well. So she can be a divorcee, like I said. So it may be that you're wanting this with this person, but you're still married to this person. Um, so hope that's helped. But what's going on between us? Uh, there's a couple of things going on here. As I said, we've got love and devotion and then we've got chitty chatter and not much going on down here. If there is anything going on with this one, it's it looks like it's coming to an end because of this 10 because this could be gossip. This is gossip down here. Um, I'm not seeing any sexual cards at all. This one up here. Like I said, this would be sex if there's a pregnancy because of the Nine of Cups. But I didn't get any three, so possibly it's nothing to do with that. It's just a deep affection and love going on up there. But whoever this is, either you or somebody else, there's some sort of confusion around this relationship. So that's what we have. Okay, moving along to pile number three. For those of you who chose pile number three, let's see what's going on between us or between them. What's going on? Is it love? Is it work? Is it friendship? We got the king of love and we got the knight of love. So there's some definite love here. We have young and old, but this is usually um, father and son. So father and son or big brother, little brother. I don't feel this is two separate people. I feel this is relations, relationship. All right, we have changes with health and love and security. We have a broken heart here. And we have making the money. Okay, so there's a definite love connection going on here. Um, the last one we had two women. This one we've got two males. So I'm just wondering whether this is a woman asking about another man, but she's involved already with one man. Um, or you're asking about your husband, but there's another man involved. Um, but like I said, young and old we've got there, younger and older, uh, some sort of age type thing going on. This would be, I feel like, I'm almost feeling an energy of like, this is a father figure and he's helping mend a broken heart. Uh, there's been some thoughts, some love errors go on in the past. This is like trying to make a healthy change, either an emotional healthy change or a physical healthy change or both. Um, I just feel like support here and maybe that's why we've got like the father and son type thing or mother and daughter. Uh, it's sort of like a, an older person helping somebody else out and mending some sort of broken heart. So what's the connection between us? Well, looking at this, there's some sort of financial connection. So that could be work. Um, it could be that these people work together, you work with this person, or it could be that you live in the same building, the same apartment. Um, there's something to do with money and finance here that connects the two of you. Uh, there's definitely some sort of affection, but the heart is upside down. If it was this way, I'd have to say there's a soulmate connection going on here. I feel like this is more to do with support and putting their arm around your back, supporting you, listening to your sorrows and helping you mend a broken heart from the past. Um, it could be something about children as well. There's some sort of, uh, I just feel like some sort of guidance and care going on there. So let's have a look. Yeah, we got the money card. So this is, all, I, I feel that this might be a working connection as well. This might be a really, really close friendship and you share everything with each other. One of you is older, one of you is younger. Um, you are both working on the money. There's some sort of lucky escape I'm feeling off this. There's someone married here. We've got the long-term commitment, the King of Diamonds guy here. So this might be a third male now. This might be the young male, uh, older male, possibly related in some way, or maybe this male's got children. And then we've got another long-term male here, commitment. So what's going on? Um, I just feel support support for broken heart and mending towards a brighter future here. Uh, I just feel this is a, a friendship, even though I haven't got cards of friendship, I haven't got cards of a relationship. All I've got is this broken heart card um, and then this supportive sort of feeling I've got here. And this is moving to a new, new direction. So the two of you might be working together and both of you are on some sort of health kick at the moment and you're 
not only working on your health, your physical body health, but you're working on your mental health because the heart is upside down. This is your head. Um, you're trying to turn this around. I do feel there might be some sort of love from one side, but not the other, where someone might have some sort of deep affection and the other one is thinking more cold and calculated and um, all about the money, earning the money and moving forward. But the other one's got this sort of lovey thing going on. So that's what I see for pile number two. Hope I haven't confused anyone. Please put comments down there. I love hearing from you, even if it's something where you're saying, what? Like, I don't understand that. Okay, so what is going on between us or them? Are we soulmates? Are we twin flames? So far we've had, uh, yeah, if you've watched pile number one and pile number two, yeah, let's see what we get for pile number three. So let's have a look. We have justice. So that's balance and victory. And that's wanting to go on a journey and flirty energy. So there's definitely flirtation going on. Um, justifying what you are doing. Ooh, we have chitty chatter that shouldn't be happening. We have, again, the flirty energy. There's definitely flirting, talking, text messaging, probably internet connections going on here. Um, it's not really a, there's nothing to do with a soulmate connection. I feel this is where the truth's coming out. This may be where someone's being really flirty. They've said, oh, I'd really want to take you on this journey. I wish we could go overseas or I wish we could travel together. Um, and this is almost like father and son. So this is like the last set. So I'm feeling like there might be an age gap here. Um, there's some sort of arguments and things over some sort of messages going on between two people. Um, and then the truth comes out. Now, this can be where somebody is reconciling. So if you're in a partnership and you asked about what's going on between me and my husband or what's going on between me and my wife or my girlfriend or my boyfriend, um, it's showing me that you are trying to reconcile. There has been some sort of disagreements here. And someone is trying to justify their actions. So someone may have been caught out talking to the wrong person. As soon as I seen this eight of spades, I just went, oh, ouch, you know, like mm, this conversation shouldn't be happening. So it could be some sort of secrets or gossip here. Um, it's about to come out and this is the truth. And then there's some sort of mending the bridge going on between the two of you or the two of them, depending on what you're asking about. Um, so the Lenormand card is the protection, protecting what's yours. So this gives me the impression of like Papa Bear, someone coming in and protecting what's theirs and standing their ground. So I feel for this couple here, this person, what's going on between us, there has been some secrets. There's been someone trying to justify the actions here. I think that's what the justice is all about here. Um, wanting to go on a journey together but it doesn't look like it's a deep love connection. It just looks like it's, let's have a bit of fun. Um, or maybe someone's been having a little bit too much fun with this eight of spades here. So just to clarify on the end of this, yes, what's between us? I'd have to say someone's trying to justify their actions. There's been a lot of flirty stuff going on. I feel an age difference thing is going on here. It may be that you are a female and you have a young man and you have an older man. You're trying to justify your actions. With one of them, you've been having all these discussions that possibly shouldn't be happening. Some sort of arguments are happening over all of this. And then there is making up and apologies and all that sort of thing. And then there is protecting what's yours. So... I don't know if that makes sense to you out there, but um, that's what I'm seeing around this relationship. Whether it's a marriage or it's just a friendship, it could be a working partnership as well. You may work in legal things. You may work in a courtroom and you're dealing with people all the time, um, but there's definitely some sort of let's fix this. Let's make this up. I'm sorry. I did the wrong thing. Um, there's that sort of thing going on and you're protecting what you have together or what you have on your own it's like standing up your own standing your own ground and protecting what's yours so that's what i see what's going on between um pile number four okay pile number five what is going on between us them are we soulmates are we twin flames are we destined to be together are we just friends are we enemies are we breaking up let's have a look what do we get 
we get the Emperor. Someone's pulling all the punches. And we have a new beginning. This is almost like a legal type thing. This is signing a document. This is the new start. Um, just be too, don't be too eager. This can be someone that can be pushing your buttons and saying it's my way or the highway. That's what I'm feeling here with this. We have the Queen of Clubs, the flirty, attractive woman, everybody's friend. She wants to run around and talk to everyone and be just happy go lucky we do have forced changes going on like i said i'm feeling a forced energy here and then we have a marriage we have a partnership okay so what's between us well there is love there because of that two of hearts that is like a soulmate connection but it's there's almost like either you or them has to change for things to work properly and balance out whether you will do it or not, I'm not too sure. Sometimes the seven of spades can mean that there's distance between the two of you. Um, but that queen of clubs, she's just like everybody's friend. She's a hard worker, but she sometimes could be just a little bit too flirty. Um, and I don't think the male in this situation likes it very much and he's putting his foot down. And that's why I think this, this firm foot is coming down on this um, queen of cups, uh, queen of clubs and her flirtatious behavior. Um, but it could be like part of it I'm seeing is like, this is fun and games. Like he's having a bit of fun, friendship, bit of sex, uh, whatever it is that he's like to do. Then one of you wants to seal the deal because this is like a marriage thing. And for you or them, it would be a very forced change to happen. So if this is you and you like running around having your single life, but you really, really like this person, um, they're wanting something solid and committed, or it could be the opposite way around, um, but it's gonna be a forced change for one or both of you. Uh, the Two of Cups can be a soulmate connection, a twin flame. It can be like someone that floats your boat and it, it just feels right. But this here is something is not right. Something needs to change. And we have loyalty. So couple number five, there is the loyalty and the love and the trust. This is all marriage. These cards over here is like marriage, long-term commitment. This is flirty fun running around and till it, while it lasts sort of thing. So I feel like if we say that this is a male card and that's, you know, just forget about it, male and female. One or both are used to having their fun and having lots of people around. Um, so one or both need to make some adjustments, some force changes going on. But you could have a soul connection here, a life partnership here in pile number five. This is a beautiful lifelong commitment, but someone has to change their ways. And that's what I get for pile number five. Okay, last but not least, what is going on between us? What is going on between them? Whoever it is you're asking about, you might be asking about your partner, you might be asking about someone that you're interested in. Are we twin flames? Are we soulmates? Are we destined to be together? Or is it just a friendship or is it a passing thing? So let's have a good look at number six. Wow, we have the Ace of Cups. This is love, love, love street. Ace of Cups, love street. <laughs> and we have the journey now this can be someone very flirtatious this can be someone very attractive right now so there's a deep loving attraction going on um, this can be someone too flirty like they're a bit worried about the flirty this is someone that wants love and stability and long term this is the opposite um, it's also about going on a journey together we have commitment we have again the flirty fun everybody's friend going on and then we have irresponsibility okay what i'd ha what i'm seeing here is that one of you wants long-term love commitment marriage ring on the finger you might already be married but one person wants stable like a st stable relationship and happiness and love and they're willing to give everything and they're very balanced in their mind of what they want and what they want to do I feel there might be concerns around one or the other. Um, that is this just all fun and games? Um, I just feel someone's irresponsible in this relationship here. Someone's 
someone might be acting a bit juvenile <laughs> it can be a grown man a grown woman and they're acting like they're 20 years younger than they actually are um, it can be that they want to keep changing things up they want to go to this place they want to jump on a plane they want to move into state they want a new job though i am feeling a boy's boy's energy what i mean by that is uh, this person wants to spend time with the same sex not in a relationship but friendship like they might want to play the same sport together or they might want to go out fishing together or whatever it is it, I, I just feel like it's um man on man woman on woman you know like spending time with peers and friends but I just feel this juvenile kind of energy coming off these cards because I feel like one person is looking at this as long-term commitment forever together but then they're worried about this. This is worries and fears here about like, is this going to settle down or is this just going to constantly be this chop and change and fun and games going on? So you've got two situations going on here. The fact that we have two cards represent two separate people could mean that you actually are concerns around that there is two people involved here uh, three people in the one relationship so there's either two males or two females so there may be concerns around all of that but this would be soulmate and connection forever backed up against flirtation and fun um, you or the other person has the key to success to make this work or let it go um, I feel like this would be a lot of fun, a lot of friends, a lot of long-term uh, going out, eating, drinking, sharing the same sort of um, values, sharing um, fun times, everything. So there is fun. Like this can be all fun, but I just don't like this here. And this is usually where someone wants to have a bit of fun and then move on. But this is not this is long-term commitment and marriage. So what's going on in pile number six? I have no idea because we've got two opposite things going on here. So it might be that you're in a long-term commitment. You're committed all the way. You know that you have the key to each other's heart. You know that there's a soulmate connection, possible twin flame because we've got double aces, double threes, double jacks. So there's a lot of double sort of stuff going on here. I'd have to say that pile number six is twin flame. Um, this might be unwarranted. This, this fear of when's the fun going to stop and, and this going to settle down, maybe used to uh, meant to just have lots of fun, lots of travels together, meet lots of different people and just be in this soul connection together, but having a lot of fun along the way as well. And you may right now be in a very... Um, attractive kind of phase at the moment. You might both be... Uh, changing your appearance and making yourself look the best you can ever look and and just feeling really like he's walking into a room everybody goes oh there's that good looking couple um so it might just mean that but i just feel like someone needs to settle down and enough fun and games because this could be a very very beautiful long-term commitment i just feel like someone's been irresponsible in the past this could be some sort of lie it can be some sort of stress that happened in the past um, and they're just waiting for this person to settle down and grow up, basically. Uh, the other thing I'm seeing here is this is an invitation to a hen's night, a buck's night, a get-together for an engagement marriage. This is engagement marriage I'm seeing here. So this is definitely long-term, but there are some apprehensions here on pile number six. So I hope everybody's enjoyed that. That is a what is going on between us. Are we soulmates? Are we twin flames? Are we meant to be together? Uh, let me know in the comments whether you like this style of reading. And if you have another type of reading you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments or contact me at psychicbetty.com. At gmail.com. So I'll catch you guys on the next round.